Hey guys, it is Lindsay here, and I wanted to share with you how I got ready to go out to Williamsburg with some of my friends who are actually leaving the city. So when I like to go out in the summer, I keep my makeup pretty simple. I usually just wear uh, tinted moisturizer, some blush. Um, I try to keep my brows pretty natural, wear some mascara, and then I uh, put on a couple layers of lipstick. Um, I love summer because I can wear brighter colors like this one here by Revlon and I'll give you the name of this color um, in the description below because I don't remember what it was offhand. And the blush I was using um, here was the Proenza Schooler for MAC Ombre Blush which I'm obsessed with. The packaging is so sick and uh, the color is thebomb.com backslash awesome. So yeah, before I go out I typically like to eat a snack just because I've noticed that if I don't eat beforehand I tend to eat a ton of bar food or pizza or fries things that are just not good for me and apologize uh, ahead of time here for the sideways clip I don't know how to edit video very well and I don't know how to change this, <laughs> this at all um, but yeah I head out the door and you know walk through my neighborhood to try to get a cab and I live here in Chinatown in the city I've lived here for five years now, which is pretty crazy. Um, I love Chinatown. It's dirty, it's awesome, it smells, but it's it's also my home and it doesn't, it never fails to surprise me and to shock me and I, I love it. So yeah, I am here trying to catch a cab and um, like I said before, I was going to go visit this afternoon two of my friends who are leaving New York in a couple days um, and they had a going away party in Williamsburg and I've noticed that a lot of my friends are leaving New York and it's really sad and it really sucks. I don't know if it's a newer trend or if it's just an ongoing thing that you know people are coming and going in the city which I think that's just the history of New York as a whole but maybe it's because I'm getting a little bit older and people are growing out of the city which I honestly think is the case um, but it's also the fact too that this city is, is getting increasingly more and more expensive at a, a quicker rate it seems like and it's just catering to like the super wealthy people and I'm not super wealthy nor do I honestly want to be super wealthy so yeah it's 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 kind of a bummer and um I've noticed my neighborhood in particular change a lot since I've lived here I've lived in the city for about six years lived in Chinatown for, for about five and it, it kind of sucks um and here I am going over the Williamsburg Bridge and I used to hang out a lot in Williamsburg. Um, I had a lot of fun in my day in Williamsburg. A lot of really great concerts, good parties, good friends, good people, good shopping. But Williamsburg is another one of those neighborhoods that has been changing rapidly and it, it really, it, it just stinks, it sucks. Um, but if, you know, my friends are calling me to come over the bridge, I'm gonna come and I did go um, to this place called, oh, what was the name? Spritzen House, I think. Um, it's in North Williamsburg, right by McCarran Park. And it was a lot of fun. It was really great. I met a lot of good people. And you know you're getting old when your friends start bringing their kids to the bar. <laughs> um, but these kids were super cute. Um, the baby was adorable. They also had a son who was about four years old, um, who was adorable. And the food was good. They had a great selection of beer wine and other cocktails um, so all in all it was a good day but it was super sad saying goodbye to my friends um, I actually had a, another going away party this morning but I happened to wake up super 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 early this morning and got a lot done but I ended up taking like a pretty early nap and slept through the very first going away party which was really really embarrassing and I felt super bad but Thankfully, the friend that um, was having the party, she lives literally, literally around the corner from me. So I'm hoping to catch her before she leaves. Um, Anna, if you're listening to this, I'm so sorry again. <laughs> um, but I definitely believe that we'll hang out soon um, before you head off back to New Zealand. 
Uh, but yeah, it ended up being a really nice day. Um, it was really beautiful and no matter how much this city can suck sometimes, it still is my home and I still love it. And, you know, I may or may not move in the near future, but when you come from Brooklyn and go back into Manhattan and see views like this, you can't help but love the city and love how special it is and the magic that it has and holds and provides you. Um, it's really something, something else. And I'm very blessed and thankful um, that I've had the opportunity to live here. And yeah. So I hope you guys have a good weekend and have a good, um, or had a good weekend and have a nice start to your week. Um, hopefully the weather stays nice and cool like it was today. It was a perfect day. Uh, so yeah, have a good night and I will talk to you guys and see you guys soon. Bye.